Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to cover up video content using a paint feature in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.6. .6. In this demonstration inside DaVinci Resolve's edit window, I will be showing how to remove the sound library link towards the top left corner of your screen. On your edit timeline, right click on the edits that you wish to apply a paint effect to and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Nodes panel, ensure that Media In 1 is selected, hold Shift and press Space, and use the search box towards the bottom of the Select Tool window to find the Paint tool. Select this node, and go to click on Add. With your Paint node selected, Hold Ctrl and scroll upwards on your mouse to zoom into the part of the screen that you wish to apply a paint effect to, such as the top left corner here in my example. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Hold Ctrl and scroll downwards to zoom out. To shift the preview horizontally as well as vertically, you can also press the scroll button and drag your mouse cursor in any direction to shift the point of focus in your preview window. Inside Inspector, underneath Controls, left click on the arrow next to Brush Controls to reveal the tablet settings. If I drag my mouse cursor over the sound library link which I wish to cover up, we can see that the brush size here is very big and almost touches the links towards the top of the DaVinci Resolve screen, such as Color and Fusion. Returning to Tablet Settings, I'm going to reduce the size of the brush to 0.01. Softness will apply a fade effect to the edge of your brush, which is a useful technique when applying gradient effects. However, in this case here, since the sound library link is only surrounded by dark grey, an alteration in the softness level is not necessary. With the brush size adjusted, we now need to select the dark grey shade which appears around this sound library link. Underneath Apply Controls and Color, left click and hold your mouse button down on the color picker. Drag your mouse cursor to the screen Hover the mouse cursor over the colour shade which you wish to copy and use as your brush colour. Let go of your left mouse button once this green circle is hovering over your chosen shade. And the colour box below Apply Controls should be updated. Inside the Media Out 1 preview, select the Stroke Brush which is the fourth option to the left. This will ensure that the paint cover effect that you apply on this particular frame here will apply to the rest of your clip also. Using the multi-stroke setting on the other hand only applies the paint effect to one single frame on your media edit. With stroke selected, left click and drag your mouse cursor over the section that you wish to cover. To increase the strength of your brush and to prevent any faded content from being left over, Decrease the softness of your brush to 0.001. Or you can use the second brush option which is the circular type, where the softness property is removed and all you need to adjust is the size. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.